All right, everybody. So in this video, um, I'm going to just kind of like nip some things in the butt, if I may. Um, this is nothing urgent or anything crazy. It's just simply that I don't have a whole huge subscription here on the channel, on this channel. My old channel perhaps, but not on this channel. Um, you know, the, the old channel is Nox, N-A-H-X. If you go to Nox and you type in Kiwi Walks, for example, um, a lot of Ridgeback, whatever, you will see me with Kiwi Mom from about minimum of six months. There's a couple highlights of puppyhood to six months leading up to when I started doing that adventure with her. However, Kiwi came to me at seven weeks old, saving her from a situation that essentially was just horrible. My experience, and that I haven't bought a whole bunch of dogs in my whole life, but I've always had a dog. They've always been with us for their whole lives. And um, I'm a great dog owner. Kiwi has been the biggest blessing in my life. She is a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Now, with the words Rhodesian Ridgeback or RR, there's a very staunch following. They're a very unique, rare breed. And unfortunately, because of those AKC protocols, champion lines, purebreds, go for minimum $1,000 up to $2,500, 3000 I have received, you know, a lot more views than I probably actually originally anticipated on this channel. Maybe namely because, yes, it is very convenient and helpful to be able to use Rhodesian Ridgeback as the name for this litter of puppies that we are currently in the process of finding Forever Homes for. So, I do appreciate you, um, Alexander M. And this isn't to call you out. Um, I am open to all communication on this front. But I do think it's a very important thing. Now, as we're currently in week four and a half, or week five, of the puppies development, I'm already initiating weaning protocols, feeding regiments, puppy potty training, active play duty, outside acclimation, to inside sleep acclimation. Essentially, what you'll be getting for considerably less than a purebred Rhodesian Ridgeback from this litter, for those that are actually purchasing, including the Keens, the Lershaws, the Myers, the Kramer, Sawyers, and Adirams thus far, yeah, you are not paying $2,500 for your puppy you are paying exactly what they are worth. To clarify here, we'll go ahead and highlight the back end so as to hopefully nip this in the butt going forward on this channel. So, Alexander wrote, I'm sorry you seem like a nice guy and the puppies are great, but are you sailing these dogs as purebred Rhodesian Ridgebacks? Now, white color in the tails, white in muzzle, wrong colors, wrong ridges, when they have it. Absolutely true. Smaller ears, just like kiwi, mum included. Yes, exactly. So if people are going to pay for Rhodesian Ridgebacks, they will get a huge surprise when they get older and completely untypical. They're not... not like, Watching Rhodesian Ridgebacks in their purebred form on YouTube and other resources, it's very clear that the silky, very super short shed coat is not what this litter is, but at the same time, they are identical to what mommy was. 
Um, and so here I will also highlight daddy. This is daddy. I'll enlarge him for you as best that I can. Daddy, too, does not have an extremely long coat. However, yes, he's a husky. His ears stand tall. He does have white all the way along his belly and on his face. His muzzle is very much more similar. No, not a hound. They're bred for extra coat layers, cold weather. Not necessarily excessively water friendly. The tail, the indications of who they favor in terms of mommy over daddy, it's mommy. The variations are the white on the tips of the tail as anybody who actually knows how puppies being born are they're um, like what a melanin is for the human body for the coloration within dogs is it starts at the spine and kind of wraps around and so when there's white that's when they get born it cuts to where if they have white it defends the white at the tips and the lengths Therefore, on three of them exploding all the way to the faces, majority of them having white tipped tails, and all of them having very standard white tipped paws. In my opinion, my estimation, it's absolutely adorable. But, Daddy here, he's a great match. It's very similar size, a little bit heavier than what Kiwi was, but definitely not any bigger than a Rhodesian Ridgeback purebred male in terms of weight. Um, so yes, what what you're seeing is what you'll get. Kiwi is an identical match to it. Their coats will end up being in the long run with the variations in ridge types. Broad to skinny, none, or everything else. So going forward as uh, we're in this upcoming process of visitations to the puppy, to the litter, I have received um, deposits that up to this point are refundable that will adjust as people come for their visitations to finalize those types of orders. So as much as I appreciate the feedback on YouTube and it being a completely broad, wide open array of people that are starting to find this channel, I simply want you guys to know that this litter deserves everything that a standard purebred Rhodesian Ridgeback would receive in terms of me as the owner in taking care of the pups. I am ensuring all of the top everything is, is done well and I am more than confident that everybody will be super impressed and find their temperament very much Ridgeback. That is very cuddly very much, um, I guess, hound scent, nose to the ground, following that nose, very responsive, um, not overly vocal, vocal enough to make their presence known. However, it has been a wonderful process thus far with this litter. I am so impressed with how well they're taking to every single step. I'm looking forward to later in this week also highlighting some of the really fun activities that are beginning to happen, including playtime all the way out in the yard, their potty training regimen, some of the visitations that we'll be looking forward to. This process is only barely over halfway through, and I am so excited for what's to come. So I hope you too um, can respect that this channel is using Rhodesian Ridgeback for the fact that they do resemble mom, who is registered as Rhodesian Ridgeback puppy. And for the purposes, the initial purposes of this is for a link from puppyfind.com where they are posted to have that and those interested parties be able to follow this litter throughout this development process. So I, Joshua Holdaway with Knox Studios, very much appreciate the comment. I do not want this to roll over. So it was very well put. Thank you for the comment. Please 
allow me to upload and keep my customers and clients and interested parties and friends and family to ourselves. Comments, puppies are cute, puppies are fun. But above that, puppies require love and attention and the right types of environments. So thank you all for watching and listening. Very much appreciate all the likes and the comments. It's It's been an amazing process to be able to kind of actually see this many people finding the channel so do if you like comment and subscribe that will help boost it and of course encourage more growth and i'll probably end up with more comments like this and i'm not opposed to that again but i want to put this right in the middle here of what this litter is and how they are so i definitely want you guys to uh, enjoy your experience um i hope to impress in terms of presenting your puppy to you and uh, for all those voyeurs out there thank you very much for your concerns peace that's what that is <laughs>